Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Tanya with Yanza Creations. And on this channel, I love to share with you my craft ideas and my experiments. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update on how to create rhinestone templates right in Cricut Design Space. So in the past, I have done some videos where I showed you my rhinestone grids. I have an eight by eight and I have a 12 by 12 grid that you can import into Cricut Design Space and you can use it to convert almost, I would say almost any SVG into a rhinestone template in Cricut Design Space. For what it's worth, it's a hack, but it does a pretty good job. So I have updated these files. I have placed the updated files onto my PayHip page. If you have downloaded the free 8x8 grid, you can go back and download this free grid. So in the updated grid, and I have removed that 8x8 box, and for the 12x12 grid, I have removed that 12x12 black box that I had used to generate the original file. This has reduced the size of the file, making it easier to import into Cricut Design Space. So that's the only difference. The new files as well, you will need to set them to either 8x8 or 12x12 in Cricut Design Space to get the correct sizing. So if you are a customer that purchased my 12x12 grid, I will send out an updated email to you with the new file. So that being said, let's jump into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to show you how easy it is to import this new grid. The new grid being a smaller file is also easier to manipulate in Cricut Design Space. It takes a shorter amount of time for things to load around it because the file is not as large. And if you have never seen one of these videos where I show you how to take this grid and convert an SVG into a rhinestone template, that's what I'm going to show you here. So stick around, don't go anywhere. Let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. All right, so now we're in Cricut Design Space. So let's go over to this panel on the left side here. And we're going to click on Upload. Whichever folder that you have downloaded it to, you just need to click on it with your mouse and you can drag and drop it inside here or you can hit Browse and pull up the file. All right, so I'm just going to go back because I have uploaded my files already. So I'm going to be using the free 8x8 grid today. So this is my 12x12, 12 12. this is the 8x8, 8 8, and I'm just going to bring it onto Canvas. It comes in a lot easier than it did before because that black box isn't there anymore. What we're going to do is to go ahead and select a shape. So we're going to do something simple today just to show you how it works. So we're going to select this heart. And what we want to do is to size it for exactly the size that we are interested in. Once we have started to make the rhinestone template, we cannot adjust the size. So we're going to take the heart and set it right on top of the grid. And we want to adjust the grid as best as possible to cover as many holes as possible. So we have as little correction as possible. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the heart and the grid and then we're going to go over to the right panel where the slice is highlighted and we're going to click slice. So our slice is ready. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out the different pieces of our slice. So this is not what we want, all these holes, that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and pull out the next piece. So we just deleted that. And this portion that we have is what we actually want. All right. It has all the holes that are going to cut out to fit our rhinestones. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is to contour away the holes that will not fit the rhinestones and make some corrections. So let's go ahead and zoom up so we can have a better look at things. All right. Okay. So what we want to do is to contour away all of these partial circles. So before I go and contour, what I would like to do is to duplicate this image. 
so that we can use it as a reference. Now that we have the duplicate, we are going to use it as the reference so that we can make corrections. So since I have this one highlighted, we're just going to go over to the right and we're going to click contour. And when this loads up, we're going to take away the partial holes that we are not interested in. So here is our heart and this is the height contour window. And there are two ways that we can um, contour. We can either contour by using the right panel. So if you notice when I clicked on that circle, it disappeared within the body of the, um, of the image. So we're going to just go ahead um, and put back our circle. The other way we can contour is to contour directly on top of the image. All right. So you can come to the image itself and click in it to uh, remove one of these pieces that we're not interested in. So as you can see, I did click right there. And if you look to the left um, on the canvas, that circle disappeared. All right. So we can do it either from the right panel or on the image itself. Now we can now use our reference to show us where it is that we need to replace. So let's go ahead and click through on our image to remove the partial holes that we cannot use. So we're going to get rid of these holes and replace them with proper holes. And that's why we have our reference. So if you look to the panel, um, the canvas, you see that all those partial holes have disappeared. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click through and get rid of all of these holes and come right back for us to finish up our hearts. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm now done clicking on all of this and everything. Um, I've contoured away everything that I don't want. So all you need to do is click on this X and you're back to this page. So what we have is this heart and this heart right here. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this heart. I'm going to change it to maybe this light yellow. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take this heart. I'm going to put it right on top of this one. And that shows me exactly where I need to do my replacements, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take my original circle. This is it right here. So this is the same size as each of these circles. And I'm going to come on over here. Let's go back. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate. Let's scroll up. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to keep making these circles. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my circle. I'm going to put one right here. That's where it should be. I need to put a circle right here because I deleted the one that wasn't whole. I need one right here. I'm going to need one here. But you are getting the picture, right? We're using these to replace those that were missing. All right. So now that you have the picture, I am going to double time this and once i'm finished replacing we'll be back okay so what i'm going to go ahead and do is to come over to my bar on the right and i'm going to look for the sliced um grid so let's look for that so this is the grid at the back that is sliced and we're gonna hide it so that's not the one we want to hide we want to hide that one right so we've hidden the correct one Let's put it back. Seems as if we did not. Okay, so here's a hole that we didn't replace. 
let's look at it again. Not that one. Take away that. So there's a hole in two places that we didn't replace. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. So let us to make sure select this one and we're going to change we're going to change this color again so that we can see we're going to change it to blue okay so that helps us to see where we didn't put anything all right so we need to go ahead and select one of these just making sure so we're going to duplicate this we need uh one two three um four okay we have about five of them that we want to do so one two okay so now we are clear what needs to be done so i should have changed that lower one the color of that lower one so that i would know what we are going to keep all right and what needed to be replaced. All right, so we have that one. Let's take this. So let's go ahead and pick the blue background. Let's go again. And we're going to pick the blue slice. All right, we're going to hide the blue slice. There we go. So this is our heart where we've made our replacements. So we're just going to go ahead and grab all of these. All right. So what we have is the original set that we had removed the partial holes from. And we turned those into yellow. And then we've added our replacement holes. And as you can see, it was not a lot of replacements. All right? Not a lot. So we're going to grab all of these. And we're going to come over to combine. And we are going to weld. And so now we have our full heart. We can go back to making yellow. So we have our full rhinestone heart so this one is out of alignment so i could have shifted it over some more but essentially what we have is our rhinestone heart all right and it's that simple you can take any svg that is not too skinny and you can do this type of conversion okay so i have about four videos that takes on different shapes and show you how to utilize the grid to get it. So this was just an introduction for those who have not tried this before to show you that you can take an SVG file, you can take an SVG image, and you can use this grid to create a rhinestone template right in Cricut Design Space. So this was a simple heart. If you want to see me do some other shapes, go ahead and check the description for a few other videos. I will definitely be coming up with some new shapes soon. It's the summer and we're gonna want to have some cool bling shirts. So look out for more videos in this series where I'm teaching you how to take SVG files and make rhinestone templates right here in Cricut Design Space. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.